It's a classic Hollywood scene, the damsel in distress. Excuse me, officers? Um, my car broke down up the street there, and I was wondering if y'all could help me out. It makes men want to lend a helping hand. Where like in this scene proud, from sure. Dukes of Hazard. I think something bounced up into my undercarriage. Oh, ma'am, I'd be pleased to check your undercarriage. But what if it's a man who's in need? Stuck on the side of the road with a flat tire. Surely he could take care of himself, right? Actually, about one out of every three men surveyed say they cannot change a flat tire. So when it comes to being clueless about cars, will bystanders give this man a pass? We've rigged the sidewalk in this quaint village of Tarrytown, New York, with hidden cameras, and we've hired this actor to play our stranded motorist. What would you do? Would you stop and help, or would you keep on walking? Before our actor even gets out of his car, this man notices the flat tire. Hey, what? Yeah, I know. That's why I pulled over. I'm just trying to like, figure out how to do it. Thinking it's taken care of, he starts to walk away. Just keep it away from the curb a little bit. Just jack it up and change it. But then our actor admits an embarrassing secret. I mean, I don't, I don't really know. You don't know how to change a tire? No. Oh, <laughs> Jesus, you're kidding. It's, I know, it's pretty embarrassing. It is. He's shocked. But Anthony Stefano decides to help out and teach him a lesson. Joey, on the other hand, has other plans. How long does it take to change a tire? Well, you're going to do it. I said I'm going to get a cup of coffee if that's... You want to get a cup of coffee? Yeah. Well, you're not going to get... I'm going to leave it. I'm going to show you how to do this, and then you're going to do it. I don't know how to do it, though. Is that... Well, the you're either going to learn how to do it, or you're going to have to pay somebody to do it. What's it going to be? Um... Time to tell them it's all part of What Would You Do? I'm John Quinones with the TV show What Would You Do? How are you? <laughs> <laughs> He's an actor. <laughs> you know, there, was, there was obviously something very weird going on. <laughs> what were you going to do? I was going to help him, show him how to jack it up and show him how to take the tire off. As we roll again, we notice that other helpful citizens don't even bat an eye. Everyone seems willing to get down on the ground to fix that tire. The average waiting time is just over two minutes. Now, what if it had been a woman, an attractive young woman? I would have been over here sooner. I would have asked her to sit in the car while I changed. What if it had been a pretty girl? Would you have stopped faster? Oh, yeah. Una chica bien bonita, la rubia. Yeah. And that got us thinking. How quickly will passers-by help a woman? As soon as she notices her flat, this man notices her from across the street. And within just seconds, he jumps to her aid. You got a jack? I have no idea. I've, I I just recently got this car, actually. You got a square tire? Here we go. Wasting no time, he pulls out the tools and is down on his knees helping out. Let's just see if this all fits. How you doing, sir? I'm John Quinones. <laughs> This is part of what would you do? I guess I would change a tire. <laughs> You'd want the same done for you, I guess. Yeah, for my wife or for my kid, yeah, absolutely. I think that'd be nice. And the appearance of the victim... Didn't hurt. <laughs> <laughs> and so it goes for our blonde bombshell. Men continue to flock to this damsel in distress. I don't know how to change a tire, but I'm going to give my best, all right? And they don't just change her tire. They're also lending her their cell phones, jackets, all in the name of chivalry. You were right on it. She was stranded by herself, so it's the right thing to do. Right thing. And the citizens of Tarrytown, New York, certainly do the right thing, and fast, always within minutes and sometimes within seconds. But what if we change things up again, and now our blonde actress is replaced by this Muslim actor? He wears a kufi, the traditional cap associated mostly with the Islamic faith. As the minutes go by, we start to notice something very different. No one stops. Almost half an hour goes by, and more than 50 people pass, and not a single bystander stops. Some saying they didn't notice, while others... You know, if it was a young lady, I might offer help, but he looked like a young guy who's perfectly capable of changing a tire. 
By the end of the day, only two people wind up stopping. One of them is this extraordinary young man who seems to come out of nowhere. Trying to fix my car, man. It's not. Alhamdulillah, let's do this. He immediately heads for the spare tire. Listen, uh, you sure you got time to do this? I mean, I got time, bro. You sure? Don't worry about me. Thanks, man. That's what I do, son. Touched by his helpfulness, our actor shares something personal. I'm glad you helped me, man. I thought nobody was gonna help me because I'm Muslim. I got the cap on and everything. Okay, so Muslim. Yo, if anything, if here. anything, Muslim is one of the truest religions. That's a stereotype that all Americans. Somebody, it's somebody's idea, like, to make people think like that. I just want to throw a blame someone else. We can throw it on you because you have a funny hat. We don't understand it. We're going to call you crazy and call you a terrorist. Because it's easier for us, at the end of the day, to blame it on you. But that's not true, bro. Not true at all. While he works away, he's full of support and advice. We almost got liftoff. We almost achieved liftoff. We tell our actor to offer this good Samaritan some money. Try to give him some money. Dude, like, how much, how much should I pay for this? This is like you, Pay hey, me? I accept love. I don't want no money from you, bro. Oh my god! Let me, let me just give you something, though. I gotta give you... I don't want no money. If it's money, don't give it to me. Time to meet this incredible young man. I'm John Quinones. This is part of a TV show called What Would You Do? He's an actor. You're an actor? <laughs> you're, you're a little... You're a charlatan. <laughs> you're all charlatans. So you're wearing a wire. <laughs> Wow, it's a setup, man. Why spend so much time helping this guy? I just love to help people, man. If it's something I can help you with, I get pleasure at the end of the day knowing that he's like, all right, I'm good now. His name is Dominic Giamo. And for him, those aren't just words. It's a way of life. What, what does this mean? This is mental alchemy. This is turning something a negative situation to a positive situation. You got a flat tire, and now you're on TV. That's mental alchemy to the fullest. We wanted to shine a light on people like you. And he leaves us with this heartfelt message. Do not judge people by what they're wearing on their head. Everybody is the same. We all come, you trace it back far enough, we all got the same mother and father somewhere along the line. Help out your brothers and sisters. Unconditional love for every living thing. That's my cause here. Have Take a great day. I gotta mail this package. <laughs> Hi guys, John Quinone is here. Thanks so much for checking out our YouTube channel. There's so much more to see. So click on this red button down here, the one that says subscribe, and you won't miss another What Would You Do moment. Enjoy.